This video is a response to a question or a comment, I should say, that was left in the comment area for a project or another video that I made. And I will put a link here if you want to go check that out to see what video that was. And the individual said that the sloping garage floor is going to create a problem for the entryway where it might need a step. And I suggested that you could simply pour a, your driveway up to the concrete foundation and you'd probably be okay. But, and uh, the individual pointed that out looking at the drawing, I originally had this slab a little lower. And in, in, in the original design, the, there would have been about an eight and a half inch to a nine inch step here. And that wouldn't have been good. So the individual is right pointing that out, which is why I'm making the video kind of uh, throwing out a few ideas and things that we're going to need to think about. These are things right here. If you pour this garage slab a little lower and the um, it doesn't work out here, you are going to have to put a concrete step in here or do something and uh, it could create problems. So this is why we try and figure things out in the design phase, obviously. So let's go ahead and take a look here. You can see that this is about uh, three and three quarter inches add another uh, inch or three quarters here and we're going to have about a four and a half inch step kind of coming in here and that would be fine. I've seen uh, that plenty of times before and it works out okay so you wouldn't need to put a step here and of course this would be the way that the slope the driveway would slope and the water would drain off of course you just have a little kind of valley here where the water would drain out in both directions. For those of you who might have a difficult time visualizing what it would look like, this kind of what it would look like here. You would have the concrete garage slab come out the door here, and then you would have a slab here with the door or the entry door. And of course, you could always take and put a planter in here. This is a common design, by the way. This house right here with a garage like this is very common. There's a very good chance you're going to have one in your area. You might not have one in your neighborhood, but you might have one in your area. And this was a real common plan they built throughout the uh, 1950s, I would imagine, even earlier. Um, and, and all the way, they're still building them like this. Now, here's another design idea you could uh, use. And I only offset this a little bit, but you could always bring something like this further back. Um, get, you know, redesign this area. But I just wanted to show you how if you put something like this in where you had a step up as the individual originally suggested, okay, then you would end up with something like this. And let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. You would have a step, but it would be inside. You wouldn't want the step sticking out. So I brought this back in. Um, and then put the step sticking out a little bit, but you're not going to want it sticking out past the garage door jam. Otherwise, uh, you're going to have a problem parking your cars in there. I'd imagine rolling up over that thing every once in a while. So the this is just another suggestion. You know, you could uh, bring this, move this back a little further, and uh, you could have kind of like a little covered entry porch area and again this solves your problem because you can lower the slab and then just put a step up here and you'd be fine. Here's another suggestion and this is a common this is really common here to have a driveway in the front with your garage door and of course I put another door in here and then closed this off so you'd basically be coming out of the garage through a door into the entry. And uh, this is a common setup for areas or situations where you have a wash machine and a dryer located in the garage. Uh, the homeowner can simply come out of the garage door and into the side door and then do their laundry instead of walking all the way around. Let's go ahead and take a look at a perspective view of it. So you'd see where this would all slope and drain towards the street. And then, of course, you could take and adjust this if you needed to. You could make the sidewalk a little steeper going up to whatever level you need to have the uh, concrete flat surface here, a little patio, a little entryway. And uh, zoom in, zoom up, 
Let's see if I can come out like that. So again, the door here going to the garage, entryway, flat surface, and I believe the building code for this, you can bring this up to where it's level. Um, the floor surface, concrete floor surface um, per the foundation, and this, they can actually be even, but because uh, I know they do that for a lot of ADA um, handicap stuff. But most of the time, you're going to want to have a two inch drop, something like that, top of the finished floor to the concrete, top of a concrete patio or entry way um, surface there. So anyway, that's it for the video. Hope it helps. I will be making more. Feel free to leave your comments um, about this particular situation and design um, in the comment area, questions. And uh, don't forget to check out the playlist that uh, will have all of the questions and comments. I'm going to put everything I possibly can in this playlist about this particular design and some of the questions that other people are having also and uh, some of the better ideas that uh, someone might have about the design.